We will solve some polynomial equations, and to do so, we need the uh, zero product property. If the product of two real numbers is zero, then at least one of the numbers has to be zero. So, for instance, in this problem, 2x parentheses x minus 4 equals zero, either the 2x equals zero or the x minus 4 equals zero. I'm going to work at this out, um, showing you the details, but then I'll also show you how to do this just kind of in your head. If either one of these equals zero, then 2x equals zero. If I divide by two, you see I'm going to get zero. So kind of if I see that, I know the answer is zero. And for this one, it could be the x minus four equals zero. Well, that's a one-step equation. If I add four to both sides, I'm going to get four. So if I see this, all I, know, all I need to know is just change the sign. If it was a negative four, then you make it a positive four. All right, so with the shortcut for this one, if either x minus three equals zero, that would be x would be equal to three, or x minus nine equals zero, that would be x equals nine. So it's simply the opposite sign. On this one right here, I have a little bit more to do, but I will show you a shortcut for it as well. We have um, a two x plus seven and a two x minus seven. So if two x plus seven equals zero, and I subtract seven from both sides, I will get two x equals negative seven, and then I will divide by two. So the shortcut for this one, um, when you have one like this, is that you take this number here and put it in the denominator's place with a different sign, and then you uh, make it into a fraction over this coefficient. Now, that one was with, if it was positive, if it were negative, of course, the answer will end up being a positive seven over two. So you can do these quickly in your head as well. So 2x minus 7, if it equals 0, add 7 to both sides. 2x equals 7, divide by 2. So I have a positive or a negative 7 over 2. And sometimes people write it like this, positive or negative 7 over 2. And then on this one, we have the same thing twice. So we're going to call this a repeated root x minus 1 equal, um, times x minus 1 equals 0. So x will equal um, positive 1, and it will be called a repeated root, meaning it shows up twice. And then on this one, one of these three equals 0. So x could be negative 1, or x could be 3, or x could be 2.